And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. <laughs> Hello everyone, happy Wednesday, March 24th. Sorry for that delay. I had to reboot my soundboard there, so I didn't have our theme song ready. And that felt a little awkward because it was just like the blank logo on the screen with no sound. That was awesome. Well, it, well, well, it isn't isn't classic Crit Camp without some technical issues right off the bat. So, um, happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, as you can see, it is solo stream time. Chris is on the road for work today and tomorrow. So, uh, I will be playing Keyforge today as I usually do. Um, and tomorrow, I have not decided what I'm going to play yet. Um, maybe Keyforge, might be Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, maybe I'll try something new. Uh, stay tuned for the socials to figure that out. Also, uh, thank you so much for your patience, everyone, uh, as we did not stream on Monday. So um, I have uh, I have some, some pretty, pretty good news, even though we didn't stream. Um, I got vaccinated on Saturday at Nashville's uh, mass uh, mass vaccination um, uh, campaign, which was really awesome. I got the single dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine and, and um, it kind of it kind of knocked me out uh, for the next couple of days. So uh, partly the reason why we didn't stream on Monday was I wasn't feeling in tip top shape yet. Um, and Matt was also feeling under the weather and, and we sort of were like, you know what if we're both feeling under the weather, let's just you know, let's let, let's let's wait until we can fully enjoy playing Alice Wonderland in Arkham. Um, Rel says dead air. <laughs> That's right. Um, but feeling great now. Um, yeah, dude, one dose. I'm 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 pumped. I'm pumped. Uh, so like you know, I have about like a week and a half to go until until that stuff is, uh, you know, I guess at running at full capacity in my body maybe or or something like that. Um, but uh yeah i'm 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 very very excited um yeah we we are we are so pumped uh we sort of got in our car <clears throat> at the end of the the event hoping that they had maybe some leftover doses or something we had heard rumors um and so we kind of got in our car we waited for like i don't know an hour 20 minutes through this crazy twisty and turny thing around nissan stadium here in in nashville um live music playing beautiful weather People honking their horns, being being uh, cheery and, and, and happy, um, and by the time we got to the you know the uh, the end of the line there, um, they took our information and decided that we they had enough doses to give us some shots and and we got our shots and we felt really great. So um, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good, um, which means uh, where where are my where are my vaccinated friends at? Because because uh, uh, let's play some KeyForge in person together. <laughs> Uh, Rickster says, uh, I got the Pfizer vaccine. Awesome. Um, so yeah, are you, I'm sure you're scheduled. Was it three weeks? I think it's three weeks between uh, the first and the second of the Pfizer. Congratulations, sir. Um, very, very exciting. So you, you will be, you will be playing Keyforge in person, um, uh, soon too. Uh, that sounds awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I'm like super pumped about it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's partly the reason why we, uh, we didn't stream on Monday. Again, I was saying me and Matt were, were feeling not 100%. So we were like, well, let's just, let's just push it. Um, Rickster says 16 weeks here. But 16 weeks between doses? That seems kind of long. That game seems like kind of long. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyways, um, we will be back on Monday. Matt and I will be playing Scenario 3 of Arkham Horror LCG, our Alice in Wonderland draft campaign. Um, so that will be happening again. I told you just keep a uh, keep an eye on the socials to see what I'm playing next week, and then Chris will be back next week. So Wednesday, Thursday, we'll be playing. Um, hopefully, Zombicide Invader. We can get back to that. Um, uh, we know we are, we are not we are not strictly a, a Valheim and Talisman stream now. <laughs> so uh, although I do want to get back into Valheim, I just want to grind. I just want to grind materials, man. I'm, I'm fine. I'm like I need to get that Sirling core. Um, going on uh, we need more troll hide because um, I want to make some capes um, and then we have um, I'm afraid that we're gonna have to start exploring on the water really soon because I mean there's still part of our island that we have to explore to the northeast but 
Um, we've, we've explored a lot, um, and we can't find any burial chambers, so I'm afraid we may have to go somewhere else to find that sterling core. Um, Rickster says, second shot is in July, supply is short. Oh, dang, dude, I'm sorry. Well, hope, well, as long as you're on the schedule, you know, um, that's what's important. So let's see, where were we? Okay. So in, in this, uh, SAS climb, um, Bill says it's time to build a boat and go hunting. So we built a really crappy raft. Um, but, uh, yeah, we need to, I'm like afraid to get on the raft basically. Oh, thank you so much for rede redeeming the spin, uh, Bill. I'll spin your wheel in a second. Um, Cause like I watched, so we, we crafted the raft and then I watched Chris jump on it. And then the waves were so crazy and the way he was controlling it, it looked, it looked suspect, right? It looked really sus. Like I, I was like, I am not getting on that raft. First of all, it's tiny. Second of all, it looks like the wave is going to like push it right over. And it looks like you can't really control exactly where it's going. Like he was like undoing like a sail and he was kind of just like, and I was kind of like following him on the shoreline. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Bill says the raft sucks. It's faster to the run. Great. Cool. Um, but here, let's, let's, let's spin a wheel for, for Bill. Thank you so much for uh, redeeming it. Let's see if we can get something bad for Chris um, when he comes back. How about that? Let's get him more burpees, everybody. Uh, here we go. Round and round and round and round we go. We got a bean for Chris, but I have to eat the bean because he's not here. So, thanks a lot, Bill. <clears throat> uh, strawberry ice smoothie, dead fish, or I can never tell. Strawberry banana smoothie. This is so not bad. Bill says the second build is a lot better. Okay. It, you know what stinks about not having a persistent server? is that Chris is the one that boots the server. And Chris is the one that's more busy uh, than me. And so I always want to jump into Valheim and grind materials, but I can never get on the server. Um, and it feels kind of... Is it cheating to start my own server specifically just to grind materials and then put them on my character and then bring my character into chris's server into like our like the real server and then dump them into chests like something about that makes me feel weird but at the same time that's what i would be doing if we were if if the server was persistent anyway i would just be going in there grinding mats and then putting them in chests right so um you went up keyforge premier league says harlan was excited to see the wheel spin awesome well i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy to make him excited <laughs> And, um, uh, cool. Um, so, I, I, it's not a Valheim stream. It's not a Valheim stream. I got to talk about Keyforge a little bit. So, um, I think Keyforge delivery of Dark Tidings is still slated for April 9th. Um, I don't know if there's been any other news. I haven't been following a lot of Keyforge news lately. So, you guys let me know if that's, if that's true or not. Um, oh, 19th. Maybe I got, maybe I got it wrong. Um, I thought it was April 9th, but, uh, Keyforge Premier League in chat saying 19th. So, April 19th, so we're still, you know, a few weeks away. And um, in anticipation of um, that dropping, I'm happy to get to this point in my, in my SAS climbs um, where I've completed every single deck, I've, or completed, I've played every single deck that I own on the Crucible um, in my SAS climb. And if you haven't uh, realized what that was or you need uh, a quick explainer of what that means, um, there's no actual ladder system here um, in the Crucible, but... I sort all my decks by expansion and by SAS, and I start at the lowest SAS deck I have at the moment, and I play them in quick join casual games on the Crucible, and they get eliminated, um, and I move on to the next deck if I get 10 wins or 2 losses. Um, that way I can just play through all my decks and find gems in, in, in lower SAS ratings, right? Because SAS isn't the end-all be-all. Um, you know, I, I think some of my most favorite decks to play are sometimes in the upper 60s, lower 70s, that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, and so I've played every single deck that I own, um, and any deck that had five wins or more in this series, I've considered an all-star, uh, and that, and those are the decks I'm playing through right now. So we've, we're on the second of nine decks, uh, that I've played through. The first one was a Coda deck that did very well. Um, and let's see, uh, if I can tell you really quickly how well it did, 
Um, it went six and two on when I originally played it, and went seven and two um, when I just played it now. So uh, pretty solid on the Crucible. Uh, today we are continuing off with a deck that was my best performing deck in my entire series. Went nine wins and two losses, and we're already two and zero oh, um, now that we're playing it again. So I'm very excited about it. I, it makes me miss playing AOA because how how fast it is. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, bot didn't like my link. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Rickster says ninth here, as far as I can tell, for Canada. And Keyforge Premier League says as long as it gets here. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't really. I'm not. Um, I don't really care about what date it is. Right. Team Covenant already already charged us, so we're gonna get our display box at some point. Um, and you know, even though I just got vaccinated, I'm very excited about that. Uh, you know, we're still waiting for everybody else to get vaccinated and see what how that goes before everything opens up. We can actually really play in person. Um, so when it gets here, it gets here. We're all gonna be cracking packs, taking pictures, showing each other decks on Discord and Twitter, and playing them on the Crucible anyway. So you know, it, it's all good. Um, <laughs> Keyforge Premier League says, uh, let's go Worlds. Yeah, dude. That would be really cool. That would be really cool if like big events uh, can start start going. I mean, um, I, I've said it here before that um, this game, Keyforge, is, is the only game in my lifetime that has um, sort of enticed me to go travel to play. So I went to a couple of Vault Tours, um, you know. One was luckily during PAX um, Unplugged, which I was going to go to anyway, but I went to the Indianapolis Vault Tour. That's where I met Bill in person, um, which was really awesome. That's where I, uh, I uh, hung out with the Tabletop Royale guys. Um, it, was really, it was really great, um, and I just love this community, and everybody was like so, so cool. It made me like, realize that I probably should have been doing that a lot sooner, but um, you know, it's tough to, to, to travel uh, for, for, you know, to, to play to play some cards or something like that but you know to me indianapolis was like a four four and a half hour drive i was like i could do that that's easy you know i did the louisville um what was it called regionals i forget what they were called um did that um rickster says um come to canada i would love to come to canada you're in bc right british columbia um, so my wife has been up in vancouver uh, but i have not and she has told me that it is absolutely beautiful up there um, so I, I've always wanted to go visit. If I'm ever in the area, I'll let you know. And then we can go raid. We can go raid, uh, Pokemon Go together in, in real life. Um, also, Rickster, I forget, um, I have a bunch of friends in Pokemon Go, so I believe, I believe Soft Kitten is your friend? Um, uh, it looks like, uh, we're, we're now Pokemon Go best friends. Um, and, uh, I don't, we didn't coordinate... <laughs> We didn't coordinate that well, that whole best friend thing. So I hope, I hope she got, um, she saw it coming and and, and popped the lucky egg <laughs> for that. And uh, tell her I apologize um, that I didn't realize it was coming so quick, um, and that I was I was unprepared uh, <laughs> to coordinate with her on the lucky egg there. All right, cool. So I think that's enough little uh, jibber jabber talk. Let's go over here. And talk about what deck we're playing today. Um, so again, we are playing uh, Flame Stir, the Congregate of the Armory, at a 64 SAS. Now I gotta tell you, this is the lowest SAS number. God, bean, bean stuck in my teeth, guys. It's really gross. Hold on. I believe this is the lowest SAS number of all the decks in my All Stars. Um, it's tied. I have Worlds Collide one that's also 64. That also did very well. So, so right here, this is a 64 SAS. It went nine wins and two losses before it got it got eliminated. And um, and now it's two and all right now. So you can see all the stats up there. Jack two of nine, uh, Flames for the Congregate and Armory, SAS 64, record two and oh in this particular run. But it has a 64 SAS. And, and normally people would be like, oh, um, um, you know, whatever, that's like, that sucks, but like it's really fun deck to play. Uh, the big thing uh, about this deck, why I think it's so interesting to play, is that it does not. I kind of don't care about the board state. I kind of want to race 
uh, for Amber. And I have very few decks that actually play this way. And I know a lot of people have a lot of Rush decks, uh, Amber Rush decks, but I don't have a whole lot. And, and so this makes it really fun. I have double free markets and then and a bunch of artifacts with an Oath of Poverty. So um, it's pretty cool. I got a Miasma in here and a Too Much to Protect. So there's a lot of things um, I have, a lot of tools to generate stuff. So that's uh, that's what we're going to be going into today. Um, my whole, uh, I got it in a sealed event, it looks like, and went 0-3 um, because that was, I'm, still fig I'm sure when I was playing it, I was trying to figure out what the deck was about. Um, but look at that. It's a 13-7 and 7 overall casual win rate. Again, I went 9-2 and two on this in the last run, 2-0 and oh right now. Uh, and we're going to jump in, play some casual games. We're going to first put some music on by our buddy in Brooklyn, tabletopaudio.com. As per usual, let us know. Uh, let me know if it's too loud, too soft. Do you want that? Where do you want that background music? I can adjust it. All right. Cool. Let's jump into our first game. Let's see if we can grab some, uh, grab a game. Oh, Psalm 69. Name looks familiar. We've probably played them before. They are ready. Uh, they're going to go first. We'll say GLHF. Let's spell that right. All right. Do we want to keep this? Mother gun, mother gun. Take hostages, equalize, radiant truth. Okay. So the hand kind of sucks, but getting the mother guns out early might be interesting for Oath of Poverty plays later. Um. So we might just keep this. It's very interesting. Because if we can drop Mother Guns and then pick up some Mars stuff, it could be interesting. What did they drop? They went Logos, Wormhole Tech. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's Logos, play it. Oof. Dang, dude. Okay. Play Mars. Oh, we didn't pick up any Mars. Great. I was going to say, if we picked up two Mars cards, we'd kill the Wormhole Tech. Um, let's see. Tech Hostages, Equalize, Radiant Truth. Um, looks like we're going to play maybe some sh Shadows. Ugh, he destroyed a Mother Gun. You little butt. Is that what you did? Yeah, that's all he did. Opponent has more amber than you. Draw a card. Okay, we're doing shadows. Play Dusk Chronicles. Draw a card. We get Sky Boost Squadron. We're going to play out a Yancey Gang and a Gamgee. End our turn. Picked up Whistling Darts. Uh, what else we get? We got a Mars first. Um, okay. Pediatrician comes out, captures one. Amber can no longer be stolen. That guy's got to go. Uh, Imperium boards both. Hmm, this is going to be bad. Another whistling darts to pop the wards, which is kind of great, but I don't have a follow up play with that. Actually, I could pop the wards and then just throw into Odiac. Can Mother Gun pop the ward? Play out Sky Booster Squadron. I guess ready him. Eh. What if I play Mars um, Mother Gun? Pop the ward on Wormhole Tech. Play Sky Booster Squadron. Mars first it. Throw him into the Wormhole Tech. It's not bad. And gets more rid of more cards in my hand. Let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's bring out this guy. It's Mars first. This guy. Fight with him. Get rid of the wormhole tech. 
we reap with him later. We can put him into our hand, and then we can mother gun. Alright, looks like we're going to have to do a sanctum turn soon because we're just getting clogged up. We got uh, Anahita the Traitor. We can give him my mother gun for two bucks. The in truth equalize. Yeah. We're getting at the point where not being able to steal his amber because of this guy is going to be rough. And this guy also has a reap steal one. We got a reprieve for a second. He didn't call a check, which is good for us. We might have to whistling dart and just smash face. Because what else are we going to do? We can mother gun to pop this, bring out the harvester, can't do nothing. Uh, play all of this stuff, can't do nothing. Um, yeah, I'm, I've I've gotten I've gotten clogged up, but I'm also now forced to get rid of this stupid thing. Although I can just get three amber right off the bat and play this thing. Let's, uh, you know, since I got a reprieve, we're going to do that. We're going to play Sanctum. Um, let's play all equalize. Whatever. Radiant Truth. Take hostages. This thing. Okay. I picked up a double three markets and a Miasma. So, here we go. Being, uh, giving him the mother gun is actually super interesting, right? It's like, here, take my crap artifact and then give me two bucks. Uh, and then we have one, two, three. We can get three amber for each, uh, each market. Hologramophone. Four amber each. It's going to twin bolt. Oh. Uh, by the trader. Dang. Using the trader would have been great. So one, two, three, four. I can get eight amber off of this right now. Or instead, I can whistling darts. Get a buck. Get a buck from that. And then destroy that. So force him from not doing it. Um or just go, or just go ham. Miasma is like the best thing I could do here. Ah, oh, by getting four. Let's just do it. Let's just go ham. We're racing, right? He's got shadows. What, what can he do to me next turn? He could too much to protect me, right? This is an interesting choice. Let him forge and get eight amber. I'm going to do it. If I had the traitor, it would have been even such a better play. Because then I would have given him the mother gun, and I would have gotten another two, and I would have prevented him from forging two. But now I have, a, I have set myself up for a much better Shadows play. And that doesn't matter, I have the Miasma. I think I'm just going to play the Miasma for the Amber. If my Yancey gang can survive, I can kill the Odiac. But do I have anything that like really wants to steal from him? I guess not. I guess, well, yeah, the Gamgee. If I pick up the Too Much Protect, I kind of want to use that. Okay, dinos. It's got the dusk runner, steals one. Of 
quest for Jarda. Coming out, which one is this one? Elusive. You may exalt quest for Jarda if you do gain one on the reap. Gargantodon. Mm -hmm. Each amber that would be stolen is captured by a creature controlled by the active player instead. Okay, that's kind of annoying too. Alright, so now it doesn't matter. Um, the stealing doesn't matter. Because now he has the Odiac and the Gargantodon. Um, so what do we do? We want to kill the Quest of Jarda, I guess. If we Whistling Darts kill the Odiac with the Ancy Gang, we can also uh, kill the Quester. Or we can just steal one. I think we're just going to steal one. Do we hold on to the Miasma or do we play it? We can get one, two, three, four Amber right now. Um, each one that we've stolen gets captured by a creature controlled. Oh, if I steal it, it'll be captured, right. If I can just reap with him. So one, two, three, four. I can get four amber. Or I can get three amber and kill this thing. Four amber, three amber, and get the thing. Maybe I kill the Odiac just so I can get this amber back. Because that wouldn't be stolen, right? That would just be me. That would be mine. Okay. I think we're gonna kill him because it's. I feel like this guy's close to death anyway. Okay. Play this. Play this. And archive that. Am I just gonna play the Miasma? I'm just gonna play the Miasma. Rig Lottery could backfire. He is also playing Shadows. Uh, for different investors. Your opponent has more amber than you, gain one for each key. Okay, so we can get one amber there. If he has more. So if, if I, I mean, if I forge, then he could, he could have more than me, I guess. Throwing stars. One damage up to three creatures, gain one for each, destroyed that way. And an umbra. Raider Gallum comes out. Keys cost three more. Gargant done. Unstunned. Quester Jar is probably going to reap and be exalted. Are you going to exalt him? He doesn't exalt him. He doesn't want the extra. We're going to forge for the full amount. Okay. Um, we rig lottery. We could we can get him to forge, and that kind of. That's kind of rough. Um, if your opponent has more than you, steal one. I'm gonna end up stealing one and it's gonna get captured. Um, but that's not bad for me. I'm definitely gonna play Furtive Investors. Okay, Shadows, no. Play for investors. Okay. Rigged lottery. It's so interesting. I could sort of reap. No. I could just play throwing stars and throw into Raider Gallum. See that? Now I can kill Raider Gallum. I'm absolutely going to kill Raider Gallum. That guy's annoying. I'm going to play an Umbra. Do I risk the rigged lottery? Um, hold on. I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I only have one, one in twelve chance of of, of that going off for, in my favor. Uh, that sucks. He has played one, two, three. So he has nine in whatever. That's not worth it. Um, if it's not worth it, do I throw it away and cycle my deck? Let me discard it. It's never going to be worth my favor with all the shadows that I've played for the one buck. Umbra is fight steal one, right? The supercar get into mine, dude. Uh, what do I pick up? Mars needs amber. Each damaged enemy non Mars creature captures one from their own side. That's great. Um, I got a mother gun, a four power mother gun. <laughs> They're playing shadows. Plays the best card in the game, Bad Penny. Uh, Kymor returns the flanked creatures to your deck. Yep. Yeah. With a Scally Caper that comes out. All right. Ooh, and the Shadow Council, which is Mutant Skein. No. Action Steal 1 if it's in the center. Okay. So it is in the center. Um, ooh. At the end of your turn, destroy one of Scally Caper's neighbors. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, interesting. I could Mother Gun my own Scally Caper. Um, action, lose one if you do destroy a creature. Steal two. Any would be stolen would be go on this guy. I think Mars is the play. I'm trying to figure out who I kill. Do I kill my own Scally Caper? Or... Do I kill the shadow cancel? I kill my own shadow. I, I I think I kill my own um my own sky caper. Okay, so we're gonna look at this guy and look at this guy. I kill this. Um, and then we're gonna bring out the shock worm. That guy. Proliferator. And we're gonna play this. So, you're going to capture one from your side, give me a buck. Give me more cards, cycle my deck. I got the Oath. I get three Amber, real quick. If I play Mars, I can get one. Oh, after an enemy creature reaps on it. Okay, I can get one, two, three, four plus get uh, a Mars card in my archive and get Mars uh, you know, Mother Gun or Mars first. I can get the Mother Gun uh, and set up for an Oath of Poverty play. The, the, the Shadow Council, man, the fact that I like that action seal too. Like, he wants to play Shadows. He plays Dinos instead. Library Polysaurus. Okay. Puts Imperial Scudum. So this guy's gonna capture everything and then it's gonna get Ludoed. Back to the uh, thing. Kills the Proliferator. Okay. Here it is. Uh, what it do I can get one two three and do one damage to somebody he's elusive right um, so I can actually kill him I can mother gun no I can just go I can just uh, fight fight bring out that guy that kind of sucks 
I can get one, two, three. Or I can get one, two, three, and then two more Rukta marked. I might just do that. Um, put powerhouse guys on the on the floor, and then get up to check. Like I think I, I think I have to do the pressure. I think I have to do the pressure. Losing the mother gun kind of stinks a little bit, but let's, let's add some pressure. Bill says could just oath and puts the big boys down. Forces shadows probably. Yeah. He's gonna steal two. What's? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. Shadow cancel just captures. I forgot this combo right here. And then when this guy dies, it just goes. He just goes to the scutum. Um, from the scutum, it just goes to the common supply. I never get it back. It just. It does. It doesn't go to him though. So that's good. Horrible bombardment. What is this? Reveal any number of Mars cards in hand for each card revealed. Do two damage to a creature. Okay, I can kill the I can kill the council. Kill the council. Put the red planet raygon on the harvester. Right. I'll be able to kill the whisper too. I think. Because I'll drop down the uh, the dominator. Reap. Do three damage. So I should, I'm gonna get one, two, three, four bucks maybe. Four bucks next turn on, on Mars. Key forgery. Oh no. Uh, when your opponent would forge a key, that player names a house, reveal a random card from your hand. If that card is not. Or is not the named house destroy key for the not forge. Okay, so how does this work? I name a house and he reveals a card. Yeah. I name a house, he reveals a card. Alright, what else is going on? Shadow Council steals one, puts it on the Gargantanon. Um uses Whisper to lose one, destroys the harvester, and then mug. Uh, does damage to that guy. Okay. All right. So I think Mars is still a go ahead. I think I'm going to do Orbital Bombardment. Show these two. Do four damage to the Shadow Cancel. Uh, put Red Planet Raygon on this guy. Throw out this guy, and then do two damage to the Whisper. Um, or I could play Vemos. He's Vemos. Oh, Vemos, dude. Vemos kills the Shadow Cancel and the Whisper in one fell swoop. Um, and then I Reap Reap. Vemos Reap Reap. Vemos Reap Reap is kind of rad. Are these. Uh, Vemos, maybe I will. Um, fight this guy. He only does four damage in fighting, right? And I'll capture one. Let's do that, dude. Vemos! Fight that dude. Um, we're gonna reap with this dude. See, we don't get the check though. That was a. Maybe I should have went up to check. Oh, I got, I got, I got greed. I got greed. I should have went to check. Oh, Smite. I picked up a Smite. Smite's really great with, with Maruk. <laughs> it's hard not to Vemos there. Uh, I, the TMTP play, though, what, puts all of my, uh, I just capture all of it. <laughs> and put it on somebody. I guess I put it on Vemos. Um, super Gargantodon, dude. Okay, Logos. 
which was going to be the house I would I would say was in his hand if I did key forgery because he hasn't played Logos in a while. Tao Tao Vapors, this is my favorite card in the game. Uh, Universal Recycle Bin. You can get this purged on. Uh, Igor coming out. Oh, we can ward somebody too. Code Monkey, interesting. So Key Forgery, um, basically, am I, if I'm about to forge, I name a house. Um, he reveals a random card from his hand. Um, um, if, it's, if I'm correct, I will forge. If I'm incorrect, then Key Forgery gets sacrificed and I don't forge. Then it becomes like a Miasma. It's an RNG, RNG forge prevention. Daughter, Quant, he's dumping his hand here. So he has five, he's gonna draw five and then reshuffle and get one more. Um, oh, I better do some counts. Um, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay. Eight. Eight, eight, three. Um, eight, one, oh, wait, hold on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he picked up one, uh, one Saurian. Eight, nine. Uh, one Saurian. Um, uh, we have six cards. One Saurian, two Logos, two Shadows, and a Random. So it's Logos or Shadows for Key Forgery, uh, right now. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I can too much to protect, do that. I can just reap, 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 smite. Um, smite throw into Quant to kill the daughter. Yeah, let's do it. Sanctum. Reap. Reap, reap, smite, kill the quant, and the daughter. Ugh, we still haven't reshuffled our deck yet. Sucks that he's gonna play his hand, and then he's gonna have like basically equal numbers of each house in his hand. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to play around around the key forgery. If key forgery wins in this game. I'm gonna be very very upset, <laughs> but also touche, right? Ooh, he takes our, those archives. He's playing Logos. Okay. He's sniffing, dude. He's sniffing around. 
cards in the Imperium. That's true, he is going to help pull a lot of Soaring the Shadows for you to keep archery. I mean, right now it looks like Shadows is the one to choose. Um, in his hand. I have to. I have to choose right, otherwise I'm sunk. He's digging, dude. If I choose the wrong thing with key forgery, he wins, because I can't. I can't prevent his. Oh, actually, I have. I have all bait the grim. I have one turn to do it. Here it is. Key forgery. Choose a house. I'm gonna choose shadows, right? Because it ain't logos. And I see more Saurian out, but he has one in the archive. That is nice. You reveal Scala Keeper. Excellent. Excellent. GG. I said sweating it at the end there with the key forgery. Woo! Woo! Felt good. Felt good. I don't know how they how, how good they feel. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. That was a nice win. So, um, you know, I, I probably should have played faster than I did, but I lucked out and won the game anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I keep, I always default to a sort of a more of a control style because it's, that's just what I'm used to. Um, but I got, I always have to remember that this is not the deck you're playing. The deck you're playing wants you to play, play fast. Um, so we are three and O so far. Cool. All right. All right. They say GG with nice exclamation point. So I don't think, I don't think we... We made any enemies here. He said, uh, I had four shadows in hand. Yeah, it was either. Oh my god. Saying I like his deck, that was nice. It was good. That was a good place. Alright, let's leave. Alright, cool. That's a way to start. That's a way to start the stream, everybody. Bill says I want to yeah, Bill, let's do it. Let's do it. Um Okay. We're gonna say normal, casual, allow spectators. Um, I'm just gonna say the password out loud, Bill. It's crit, C R I T. So I'm gonna apologize if you get sniped. <laughs> Somebody jumps in this game. There he is. All right, everybody, we're playing Bill from chat. Um, so all of all of his uh, all of his forged keys give you crits as well. All right, let's do it. Yeah, GLHF. All right. Let's see. How do we want to take him down? We're going to mulligan this. Hmm. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. All 
I should have kept the other hand, dude. Ugh. Well, this will force me to cycle now. This will force me to play. But I mean, Mars needs Amber. Random play to ring gun. Vemos, too much to protect in throwing stars. Pretty, it's a pretty awful hand. He plays a lion. Um, he plays a lion. I'm going to play shadows. I'm going to play too much to protect and a throwing stars. Take that. He's yeah, Bill's saying sorry about the starts, which means he's gonna he's gonna roll me over right now. Play some elusive creatures, Bill. I dare you. I dare you to play some elusive creatures. Reaps, Grey Riders, Reaps, oh god. Another Grey Rider? Oh god. Why aren't Grey Riders elusive? Come on now. Grey Rider, Grey Rider, Grey Rider. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> Sigh. So I can Maruk the Marked. Uh, and I can smite him to kill both. Play a Vemos. <sighs> okay. This guy gets extra power. What a what a butt, dude. What a little butt. Okay. Vemos coming out. Or Rooked coming out. Oh! That stupid lion. <laughs> oh, Arch Archimedes. Uh are we kidding? <laughs> Sutter kid with an Archimedes. Are we and and I and here I am with my Bemos. I this is just This is just atrocious. I gotta kill the Archimedes, man. Um I'm gonna go into the Archimedes. I'm gonna finish him off here. And then I'm gonna play the Abed, and this is so annoying. Um, <sighs> oh, card beach friendly logos. Oh my god, dude, it's so bad. Um, it's just like so bad. I hate everything. Okay. <laughs> oh, and a terrible free market. It only gives it only nets me one. Sanctum don't count. Here we go. He's my logo. So you double draw from like the Sarkin. Oh, Bill, why are you doing this to me?
Alright, Bill's having a little has connection issues here. He's coming back. He's coming back. Don't worry, everybody. Oh, Brain Eater. I'm going to play Brain Eater so I can get another card from Sutter Kid. Getting a three card draw Sutter Kid value. What a little butt, dude. What does Brain Eater do? Draws a card every time you kill something. shadows and just hope for the best here. Play Dust Chronicles. Not draw the card we need. Play Yancey Gang. I'm gonna play this and Archive Free Markets. And we're gonna let them forge. Um Carvafloxum was great, but I actually have stuff on the board, so that's not great. And I don't even have a single creature that I can use Mars first on. Oh, the Red Planet Ray Gun. What a what a bummer. I mean, I guess. Oh, you know what? I could have played Mars Needs Amber there. Sunny Grim and not on a flank. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. It's an interesting choice. Reap, reap, readies. Oh, you. I got it. I got it. Healing blast. Oh, that's why. Nice. Okay. Spirit's way. Okay. Proclamation, what is this? While your opponent does not control creatures from three different houses, their keys cost plus two. Oh. Dirty. Baby. Artifacts. Okay. <laughs> Bill says this is maybe the best this deck has ever drawn. Okay. Um... What do I even do? I think I dump my Mars. Let's, um, no. We're gonna carpet Floxum. Uh, we're going to, um, <laughs> we're gonna play this. We're gonna play this. We're gonna discard that. And we're getting a new hand. And I would be a check if it wasn't for his dang proclamation. What a butt! This deck is crazy. We're gonna look at this deck um, after this game. Um, hold on. Let's get the link. We're gonna put that over there, and we'll look at it at the end.
All right, let's give crits to the people for another. And I'm getting, I'm getting absolutely stomped by Bill. God, has he even played Untamed at all? No, this is the first time he's playing Untamed. Uh, return a card from your discard pile to your hand. Oh, he discards. A, he discards double glimmers. Plays a Grove Keeper. Discards a key charge. Plays Punctuate Equilibrium. Sweet. Oh my god. Punctuating Equilibrium, it, I, don't, I don't own this card at all, but it's like one of my favorite cards. Um, and part of me, like I remember like when I first read that card, I was so confused why it wasn't an Omega. Um, okay, Way of the Wolf. What was that? Oh, Skirmish, 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 Skirmish. Oh, and then it gets a plus one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. He's at check. I am not. Um, we can whistle them darts. Uh, Gamgee. Uh, Miasma. I'm going to get two off of free markets. Uh, yeah, let's play Shadows. Uh, Nier. We're going to Miasma. and whistle them darts. I'm going to play Gamgee. Two out of free markets right now. <laughs> does this just stay out for the rest of the game? Your opponent does not control teaching three different houses. Jesus. Proclamation is rough, guys. Proclamation. Uh, 346E. Logo's coming out. All right, so my uh, my free markets is now at three. The best it's gonna be. All right, it's at two. <laughs> okay, we're gonna forge. Finally. Thanks, Titan Mechanic. Um, all right. He's got nine, and me without a too much to protect. Uh, I can get two from free markets. Play Maruv to play Equalize, play both. Two, three, four. Get a big four there, um, because doing this doesn't matter. Sanctum, yes. Play it. Play that. Play that. Just play that. Yep, that's it. Oh my god, just a stomp. Such stomp. Such stomp. Oh. Oh. All right. So let's
let's talk about let's talk about what just happened there. What do you have two doorsteps ahead? Okay, this is this is this is just absolutely insane. This is it's insanity. It's insanity. Hold on. Let's let's before we forget, we need to record everything in my spreadsheet and on the overlay and stuff before we get into talking about Bill's deck because we we should definitely talk about Bill's deck for a second. Um, uh, eight. I am three and one. Okay. Uh, whoops. That's Bill's deck. Hold on. Thirteen and eight. Yes. Cool. I think we are up to date. Three and one. Yes. 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 Cool. Um. So Bill says it takes a lot of thinking, but has a lot of recursion from discard and cool plays. It was just rough because I was on my back foot. Also, I didn't have a good opening hand, but, um. Because you had such a great draw and I didn't have a good opening hand, um, I was on the back foot the entire time. Um, oh god, hold on, hold on. I want the um, I want the decks of Keyforge one for this. Let's put it in chat so everybody can get it. Hello, there it is. Yeah, this is the one I want. So Eternal Herazog, uh, the Majestic Rogue. 76 sass logo sanctum untamed um there was a lot of stuff that was happening to me here um the double gray rider with the lion let's just start let's just start at the beginning right so double gray rider with the lion and so he was able to get to up to like five or six amber right from the jump that was really rough we didn't even see the untamed ambassador come out but just that in itself was crazy i gotta say Proclamation for uh, 346 against my deck, which doesn't usually put stuff out on the board on like for, for my own thing, really kills me because um, it's rough. But this in tandem with the things that Bill has in this deck, like Spirit's Way, like, um, I feel like, yeah, I think you just had like big dudes that could kill my things. Uh, you know, you have, you have a Titan mechanic in here. That's pretty, uh, the Brain Eater. The Brain Eater was next to the Lion. That was that was ridiculous. Um, the Archimedes between the Archimedes between the Gray Rider and the Sutterkin was ridiculous uh, because I wanted to kill the Sutterkin first, but killing the Sutterkin while the Archimedes out just puts him in his archive, which means he can play the Sutterkin again the next turn. Um, and so it forced me to use two creatures on the board to kill an owl and then he got a three he got a three card draw so can play the next turn after he dropped the brain eater so um so and then we're when we're talking about amber mitigation here the like cutthroat research didn't really I mean, he played that for amber but like um he discarded a key charge guys bill bill discarded a key charge. he didn't even need it just so he can uh, set up a punctuating equilibrium play redraw his entire hand and then continue continue going um you know the, the recursion, you um, you discarded both these glimmers, um, but to be able to get Grey Riders, to get Sutterkins, to get, is it anything? Oh, it's not even creatures, it's anything. Gosh, so you can even get doorsteps. He has two of them, um, you know. Yeah, two doorsteps. He's got uh, Intermental Graft. That's the other one I was looking at. It, it, it's just Banana Town here. It's ridiculous. There's like all the answers in the world. Are, are here and he and he just seemed like oh, the seed dude it's still one of my favorite artifacts in the entire game the seed um bill says since i had punctuate i couldn't play glimmer because i had zero on team oh i see i see i see but um it was crazy everybody this deck is nuts this deck is crazy like i'm not surprised i lost to this deck and i'm actually like kind of uh almost honored to play it it this is this one is uh this one is definitely cool dude i'm into this one i'm into this one a lot um what was funny though is um you went like five or six turns without even playing untamed i think it was like the logo sanctum show in the beginning it was all the sanctum show and then it turned into the logo show um yeah bill says i didn't think it would go that well i thought you'd be I thought it would be a good challenge with your racing. Um, I wasn't picking up my cards, dude. Um, I mean, so my opening hand was uh, Mars uh, needs Amber. 
red planet ray gun, um, <laughs> uh, whistling darts, uh, too much to protect, and a Vemos Lightbringer. Like, and then, like, you know, and then, like, I just, like, picked up, like, Oath of Poverty and, like, picked up Free Markets and we were both playing Sanctum. Um, you know, it was, like, it was, like, one of those things where, like, every, and then I couldn't get more than two or three cards out of my hand a turn, and then I would pick up three more garbage uh, cards, which wouldn't have been garbage later on in the game, but in the beginning was, like, and so I was just like, I just have to start dumping cards from my hand and letting you forge keys, or dumping less cards from my hands and uh, losing slower. Um, it was was kind of like where where I was at that time. So, um, yeah, I was hoping to like get that stuff going, um, but I just I couldn't I couldn't draw. I like that. I think that was the problem with was like, I got I got hung up with like cards in my hand that I just couldn't get rid of fast enough to cycle because I couldn't get I was on the back foot the whole time I couldn't I couldn't make any aggressive plays so yeah totally that was fun dude I liked it a lot um all right I think we're gonna go we're gonna jump into another game here um you know what since I enjoyed that game so much I'm gonna give like everybody like another like everybody have another take 10 crits dude because that was a good game and I say it all the time, but I think the best games, the best games I play, um, or the closest games, or like the most fun, or are, are generally the ones that you guys, um, when you guys come in, you're like, hey, let's play a game. All right, let's play Skate, and hopefully, hopefully it's a little bit of a palate cleanser from that smoting we got from Bill. Let's say GLHF. We're gonna go first this time. Is it worse or better than our last hand? Rig lottery, they don't have that. Uh, Sling darts, Vemos, V markets, Red Planet, Ray Gun, Mother Gun, Orbital Bombardment. I'm gonna keep this because now I know that I can get worse hands. <laughs> um, what do we wanna start with? Do we wanna start with a rig lottery? Um, Let's start with it. Boom. Oh my god. We just went to four. Amber. We discard Mars Needs Amber, Yancey Gang, Dust Chronicles, Harvester, and Gamgee. Um, and then they discarded Fission Bloom, Champion NFL, Eclectic Inquiry, Picaroon, and Seeker of Truth. I'll take that. And they play a daughter. Don't call me daughter. Okay, which is gonna get Mars Dawn. Uh, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna play this, and then we're gonna play this. Yeah, we'll just discard it. You know, we should have played the we should have played the ray gun on the daughter. That's bad. Uh, I could have gotten one more. I could have gotten one more buck. That was stupid. I could have got another buck. I could have got another buck, and I could have went to 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 forge, or to, uh, say check. Bad plays, everybody. I always forget that you can't that you can put your upgrades on your opponent. Uh, even Ivan. Okay, I think it's going to be a carpet floxum situation. Um, why not? I'm gonna get two bucks. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's get two bucks. Ours. Herbert Floxum. Alright, we're getting dissed. Earn Furnace, he's gonna get rid of some stuff. He's gonna get rid of the lottery. (laughs) 
gets rid of Carpofloxin and Marzine Tamper. Okay. Implosions his Infernus. Plays Mark of Dis. And plays Skixuno. Destroy each other creature. For each creature, destroy this way. Give him a plus one counter. Okay, awesome. If I play free markets now, I get two bucks each. So I'm going to get four bucks and play a Vemos. Four bucks and a Vemos. Sounds good. Whistling darts, throwing stars, and an umbra. You gain one. Oh, I can throw in stars. This is Skixuno. That's great. Uh, each gets. Ooh, what is this? Oh, shoulder armor. Lots of fling gets plus two armor. Okay. Uh, how did he fight? Oh, smited. Okay. I got smoted, and then he cleansed. We're going to forge the first key. Okay. I think we're going to... Throwing stars. Uh, so we're going to get one buck there, two bucks, three bucks. And an umbra. Playing the too much to protect... We have to do it if we want to get the check. It kind of stinks because he's about to do something. That's oh, this is a rough play. Ring stars. We get a buck. Play whistling darts. And umbra. Do we play the too much to protect now, or, do, or are we going to play greedy? We'll play it now and force it. Okay. Oh, can we picked up the miasma? I could, we could have done the miasma too much to protect thing. Oh, I should have kept it for the greed. Should have kept it for the greed play. Screaming cave. Mark of Dis, Cinder, Reap Destroy from the Creature, Bone Saw. Okay. And now I have to fight all of my like temptations to like slow things down. Um I can do two damage to somebody, play these two things. If they reap, they get stunned. I could stun this person. The rest of it kind of sucks. Um, armor, huh? I guess I'm going to do two damage to Bone Saw and then bring these two guys out. Or I could just Miasma and be a jerk. Um, I can give him a key. I, I, I need to move. Fine. Shields, dude. They're a thing. I can smite my own traitor. <laughs> Ready and fight. Right into a cinder. That's sweet. I mean, I could ready and fight. Uh, yeah, the shockworm is annoying. He has to do something about. I can smite my squadron into into the cinder. I guess. Uh, just to do two damage to each thing. 
Uh, diametric charge. One damage, two splash. Script of Grammar Bot. Uh, the Munchling. Okay. Okay. Probably a Sanctum turn here. Hazardous three. Ugh. That kind of annoying. I mean, I guess I'm just going to stun all three in the middle, huh? <laughs> uh, play Equalize. That. Using the Smite is almost worthless. Like, it'll just kill, die if I go into this before it even does the damage. Um, right, or it kills, it's just, it's just useless. Smite's absolutely useless. Uh, Radiant Truth. Equalize. Uh, we'll play the Traitor. And do we just, do we just toss the Smite? Because it's useless? Got in hand. I'm just gonna toss it. This is awful. No, I shouldn't toss it. I probably shouldn't. No, I'll toss it because I'd rather have him have him on the field so I can reap with him or something. He's a potential Amber. Doing the damage does nothing, right? But he's a potential Amber if he survives. I could reap with him. Put him in my hand, use him for Mother Gun to put him back out. Double Mother Gun, the Oath of Poverty play. It's, um... Slow. I think Shockworm is at the end of his life here with this Munchling out. Oh, he's playing Sanctum. Champion of the NFL. Reaps with the Bulwark. Gets stunned. Then he uh, smites the champ to kill everything on my board. Plays a Grey Rider. Oh, are we, are we playing Bill? <laughs> are we playing Bill right now? Okay. Um... Still hurts, still hurts. Um, he has my hidden stash, Oath of Poverty. Um, who is annoying? The Grey Rider. I think we're gonna mother gun the Grey Rider. He's the one that's, uh... Yeah. Let's mother gun the Grey Rider so that we can get the proliferator and the mother gun out so that we can Oath of Poverty and obeyed the next turn this is so I this is I feel like this is like greed city dude this is like greed city oh my god I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna get five amber and capture three next turn He uses uh, the grammar bot uh, to exhaust. Oh, to get rid of the stun, plays Lethalogica. Discards Infomorph, takes Infomorph into their hand, plays Bouncing de oh, Death Quark. Oh no. Oh, I thought. Uh, oh, that's Neutron Shark, sorry. Neutron Shark is the one that kills everything. Um. Yeah, he's not even at check, dude. It's it's uh it's time. It's time to take the oath. <laughs> uh Bill says you get so much value from oath and two free markets in the deck plus rig lottery. Yeah. This is why this this is like a sleeper, um, a sleeper deck, because 
on paper, you know, you look at the cards and you're kind of like, I don't know if this like works, but like, it does. Oh, we got to concede. GG. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a board and he's got, yeah, exactly. I think he was mad. Um, I miss games like this though. I felt like Worlds Collide was not like this. So slow. All right, four and one, four and one. Let's add a win there, add a win here. Woo! All right, if we get another win, then it, then it, I, I said everything that I'm, I'm playing uh, in this all-star bracket is, has gotten at least five wins and above in, in all my, all my climbs. So if I get another win, then it, like, it sort of proves that it, it belongs in this list. Oops, sorry, I knocked into my uh, microphone there, everybody. I'm sure it's it sounded like clang. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, it's a sleeper. And the thing is, like, I do have another deck that's similar to this that's on this list. Um. Which is good. The miss of New Stream Crossing. When we get to that one, I have five decks on this All Star list that are from AOA, um, and they all play a little bit funky. Like, there's another deck that's like kind of like a Rush Amber deck, and then there's one that's like an all around good deck, and then there's one deck that's like Neutron Sharks all day. Um, yeah, this is and and you know me and Chris like this, 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 like that's like our favorite way to play, right? When you, when we're an underdog and you have to do weird stuff, um, like that's like the most enjoyable way that we like to play, which is why we like games like Sealed and we we like doing things like Draft, right? Because it forces like funky things to happen. When we used to when, back in the day, when we used to grind the ladder for Hearthstone, we used to make the stupidest decks to bring on the ladder. <laughs> um. Let's see, Carpafloxum, this, this, Marooks, Smite, Vemos. I mean, this is not bad. Let's keep it. Uh, what are we going to start with? Can we start with a Sky Booster Squadron? Just in case we need to reap with him, Carpafloxum, bring him out, and put a Red Knight Raygun on him? <laughs> or do we throw out a Yancey Gang so that we can do a three card play somewhere else? No, let's do let's do the Mars just in case. We'll see what happens. If he has a good if he has a good start. <laughs> There's it's so hard to get carpet flax moth sometimes that like when given the opportunity I kind of almost like like I would love to get the the amber bonus and the damage bonus. Font to the eye. Bulwark. Okay, it won't it won't kill. Uh, it was worth it. Everybody, it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay. <laughs> uh, he put damage on his own, dude. Um, I think I'm gonna play Red Plate and Raygun on his uh, on his dude, and then Copper Flocks on it. None of these are elusive, right? Because what other mother? Oh, what other thing am I gonna do? Play this. Play this. Uh, no, let's play Mars. We're not gonna forget to do this now. Oh yeah, Smike does kill both. Because it does the splash damage. I always, um... There are certain cards I mix up in my mind. Like, I know that was something, like... I'll talk about Smite a lot, and then I'll immediately, the next game... Think of Inspiration instead. That's the card I think about. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, we could have done that. Ooh, another Grey Rider. Okay. Well, now I'm going to Smite this guy. Um, yes. Sanctum. Vemos. Maruk. Kill him. 
Oh. So we want to play all bid to no, to no value. Fine. We don't care. More cards in hand. More cards in hand. I do like the smite with the throwing stars and with the whistling darts too. Right now I'm netting one from free markets. Citizen, Strix, and Faust uh, for each friendly creature with... Alright, so McKee's got plus one right now. Sagittarius Gaze, Exalt. Okay, Keys cost plus two. All right. Things are getting a little dirty here. Uh, Faust needs to go. Also want to play a bunch of cards from my hand. Uh, so, do we take this, Reap, Reap, we mark it for one, or we... Nope. We press. We press and wait for a better, better hand here. Maruk, take hostages, free markets. Okay, take hostages is kind of great. And now we're netting two from free markets. I mean, I had zero amber, right? It, it's like it's not. It's not like I was close enough to to, to forging to force kill Faust that turn. Odd clod. All right. There it is. Free markets for three. Uh, Infomorph does nothing. Lycobot. Discard it from your hand if you do draw a card. Okay. That's a cycle. That's recycling bin from Star Realms. Odd clod has an odd amount. Steal one. So Faust is number one to get rid of. Odd clod is number two. And this guy's number three. Citizen Strix eh, is also number three. Okay, it's gonna be a sanctum turn and we're gonna be fighting. So, my dude can take two damage over here. I'll bait, since he's got nothing on him. He can go in anybody that's four power. Actually, Citizen Strix sucks. Okay, sanctum. Uh, free markets. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maruk. And we can actually... Ooh, we could just reap with all three. Oh, no, no, we have to kill the Faust. We kill the Faust with the Abed. Yes. Um, who do we want to kill? Main or turn, each time a friendly creature fights, it captures one. Okay. Um, we kill Odd Claude or the Citizen? Well, you're just going to reap, aren't you? Because you're going to die. You're just going to reap. Um,. We can kill Odd Claude or we can kill Strixie, but then we'll have an odd number. We can steal one. That's actually an interesting thing. But if we don't kill the Strix, he can just steal. Okay, we're gonna do that. If we have an odd number, we can steal one. Logos makes sense. That's where he's got this board. Yep, Odd Claude steals one. I'm down to six. He's got plenty. I'm just like, Logos has a lot of tools, so. Fights Maruk. Infomorph reaps, plays Titan Engineer. Ruin Ivan. So, how did he get something from me? Font of the eye. Yeah. 
Spawn to the eye. Okay. Um, I can do four, uh, two sets of two damage. And then, ooh, Orbital Bombardment to Mars these Amber is actually an interesting play, huh? I can whistle, oh, whistle them darts, dude. Um, one, two, three. If you have more than your card, archive a card. Okay. Board of Investors. I might just get three bucks. Um, reap, four, five. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Shadows, dude. Too bad I can't use any of these. Like, this is all just amber. Um, so this is for me archiving, right? Um, yeah, just like archive this. Doesn't matter. Um, furtive investors, whistle them darts. Uh, we're gonna steal one. We're gonna reap. We're gonna reap. Oh my god, how much amber did we get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Professor Torado and, the, and another Titan Engineer. Titan Engineers are hurting him too. How many, how many mutants does he has? One, two, uh, Toronto counts as a mutant, right? One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Dang. Yeah. Toronto's got to go, dude. I mean, that is, cr that's insane value. That's, that's insane value. He's going to get Orville bombarded. Yeah, Toronto getting Orville bombarded. And then Marzi's Amber is going to come out. Even uh, Ivan Odd Claude pair that he's got out. Woo! Something else, dude. All right, we're forging. I wish I had one more Mars card in my hand, right? Because then I would love to. Mars needs. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter because I want to kill Torado. Um. Oh, I do have the guy in archive. No, I was thinking, but I can't do it because. Yeah, one, two, three. So I can kill one, two. Three, somebody. Who can I kill? I guess the Titan Engineer is the only one I can kill. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, five is still good. Because um, I could hurt the Titan Engineer. Um, <laughs> but I'd rather kill the Titan Engineer, I think. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. Uh, yes. <laughs> um. So let's do this. Let's play Orb Bombardment. Let's show you these three cards. Two, four, and then who do we want to put the other damage on? Do we want to kill this Titan Engineer? It's actually kind of helping us. Maybe we'll just put it on this guy and be funny about it. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna do that. 
And then we're going to put out this really annoying shock worm. And this Glixel proliferator so we can get that Mars needs Amber back. <laughs> and then next turn, we're going to equalize on a really weak engineer. Um, so that we could throw like stars in later. <laughs> I am I am setting up the greediest plays of my life right now. Like yeah, if I equalize it all in this super weak Titan Engineer dude, and then I throwing stars him. Uh, yo, Wismati Games in chat says, uh, to build a key forge, eventually you need 20 stone, 10 wood, 5 flint, and a key. That is correct. And to build, and, and if I want a red key, I need Sirtling Core, which is a myth. It doesn't exist in my world. The blue key needs, needs Grey Dwarf Eye. Alright, what's happening here? What's he doing? Uh... Odd clod, okay, so he stole, he reaps with that, stuns, reaps with him, gets stunned, reaps with him, gets stunned, reaps with him, gets stunned, declares check. That's seven. Um. Okay, he's at seven. I could steal three, play rigged lottery, play hidden stash, play... Throwing stars. Do you want to equalize before I play throwing stars, don't I? No. I can just do it this way. Um. No, it's too good to 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 play. Okay. Let's count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have three, three of ten. Thirty percent chance of getting more. Um. Yeah, you don't care about stuns, dude. Um, no, we're gonna do shadows, dude. And we're just gonna like, <laughs> we're gonna reap and steal, reap and steal. We're going to action. We're going to hidden snatch and put the oath of poverty in the old archive. We're going to rigged my lottery and get three more we got rid of miasma umbra anita the traitor the harvester and mars first they got rid of chant of hubris command commandeer dark centurion smite and lepologica uh and we can yeah i guess we can kill this guy and get another amber and then do one more on odd clod and on even ivan i guess those are the ones Boom. 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 Okay. Ooh, I'm picking up a free market here. That's a three. That's a three amber free market. <laughs> I got a radiant truth, but everything's already stunned. He was close to death. Uh, I guess even Ivan is now the one. Uh, Citizen Strix, Consul Primus. Move one from creature to another creature. Okay. Alright, <laughs> this is too much to protect later. It's going to get nasty. Uh, well, we can s stun him. That's actually really I guess we can equalize everything on the Citizen Strix. Throw Maruk the Mark into him. Yeah. Sanctum. Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, I think we're going to... Three markets. Uh, we're going to equalize... Um... What? One. 
um, two, and then okay, we'll put fifteen on you. Then we'll radiant truth, we'll oath of poverty. We're gonna fight you, <laughs> and I guess we're going to reap with you. Okay, we have 27 amber, equalized. I put 15 on that one dude. <laughs> this is this is banana town. This deck has never done this before. This is, I, I just like, I'm like flabbergasted. This is like crazy. I've never had a board with this deck. Like a board that actually stays out and it's, it's bananas when it, when it does. I have like so many options. These Gamgees couldn't be more dead, yeah. Listen, they're 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 reap machines now. <laughs> Just regular old reap machines. Not special reap machines. Four amber, free markets. Oh, the Axiom. Nice. So I can still get three from uh <laughs> the shadows. Too much to protect. Hidden stash, action, end. <laughs> I know it's a little dirty preventing the the the, the key there. That's true. I could have, yeah, I could have suicided the the Yancey gang and took a, it took a lot more amber. Oh, Reld, he says hashtag toxic. <laughs> but I don't know he's gonna play double effervescent right now. Boy got played. <laughs> GG. Oh, he left. I was gonna say my deck has ever played this way, but wow. Let's give it a sec. So 16. 16. Uh, we are five and one. 
five and one. <laughs> Where else is hashtag tainted luck? <laughs> oh yeah, redacted that late feels real bad. Um, that would have helped him race for sure. Ooh, man. All right, so we got we got five wins with this thing, uh, which means it uh, belongs in uh, in my all stars. Let's see. Uh, so we we went we went seven wins with my other deck. Um, we're at five wins here. This has um, this has nine wins under its belt in the last time. So we're gonna keep we're just gonna keep going. Let's see what happens. Uh, does it feel better in the current meta or worse, would you say? Um, I remember it feeling really good when I played it last time, uh, but um, it's been, it's, this feels, this feels good. I mean, <laughs> it didn't feel good playing you, Bill. <laughs> and there are definitely ways to shut this, this deck down, um, but I just think... Um, it plays a little differently. There's a there's a lot more board control um, decks out there. Board control became a really big thing, <laughs> and since I don't care about the board, um, maybe that throws people off. So I don't know. I don't know if it's better now than it was then. I'm gonna have to look back because it's like when you think about when I played my SAS climbs, right? Um, you know, Coda. When I played Coda, it was against Coda and AOA. When I played AOA, it was AOA versus it was AOA Coda and a little bit of Worlds Collide at the end. You know, I'm always a little bit behind, so I'm always playing the next expansion with it. Um, so the the mass mutation decks I've played definitely feel like. It does pretty well. Yo, I'm playing Drew Ribs that has a Mars avatar, so watch out. Yeah, Equalize is good against Capture and Exalt. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that I played this this deck on, uh, on my climb when Worlds Collide was out, so it probably was just as good. So this is like the first time this deck's been playing against Mass Mutation now, so I guess that's the new thing. Alright, Drew Ribs will go first. Haruk, Venus, uh, Umbra, Rigged. He's got shadows too, though. Yeah, see, I'll keep this. <laughs> I don't like playing against other shadows players with the rigged lottery, although getting rid of their tools are, is always good. And all I want to do is cycle, so. Ooh! I love me, Master Plan, dude. What a great artifact. Um, let's do it. We're rolling the dice. Boom. I got four, you got four. So I got rid of Aubade, Miasma, Harvester, Gamgee, and too much of protect. So Miasma, too much of protect are gone for me. Bow Nithing, Mug, Army Officer, Nell, Shoulder, Id, and Explore Rover. Okay. Master Play is up there for me, for sure. Uh, Bill says it's his favorite Keyforge card. Um, I mean, everybody knows Tau Tau Vapors is my favorite Keyforge card, but um, Master Plan is up there. <laughs> and it's really it, it's it's really great uh, for me uh, against me on this deck because I don't have any artifact control. He sacrificed it to play Red Alert. Um, okay, plays Fission Bloom. And then Titan Engine. Okay. Uh, nobody was it. Okay. Dusk Chronicles. I could play Dusk Chronicles uh, to archive a card, steal one, and get up to check. Um, just force one? Force a check? Yeah, let's do it. Play Dust Chronicles. 
uh, we are going to, what are we going to archive? The VMUFs, maybe? Action. The check. Uh, Bill says we got our local store named Dex from Gamma as prizes, and mine had two master plans in it, uh, one of the coolest decks I own. I have a local store Gamma deck, too, that I won uh, from a, a local tournament. Um, it's not great. <laughs> All right, what is this? Access and nine. This creature cannot reap. That's fine, because I never want to reap with him. Um, so, ha. Um... I think, let's make you not reap, huh? When I reap, you reap, just like that. I'm gonna play a mother gun. Uh, let's play a shocky, a shocky worm. Let's play a, a thing. And put the red plant ray gun on the shocky worm, even though you're gonna die, the proliferator. But the shock room is a more annoying thing. All right, Shadow's coming out. Ooh, Lucky Dice. Uh, destroy Lucky Dice, Omni. During your opponent's six turn, friendly creatures cannot be dealt damage. Okay. Ooh, he's going to use that. Very nice. I've been playing too much Arkham Horror because when, when Lucky Dice came out, I'm like, oh, that's a rogue card. That uh, lets you uh, do some chaos bag manipulation. We got some mugs, we got some lights outs. Wow, okay. Went up to eight already. It's faster than I am. Um, I can mother gun kill somebody. I'm going to kill somebody. Nobody elusive. I can Maruk smite. Maruk smite this guy. Put two on that. Uh, I can do the traitor and an oath. And gain one, two, three from that. Capture one. I don't think I can stop this. I can mother gun the other one and then have him capture two. But I think he's safe from everything that I can do. So if he's safe from everything I can do, maybe I just do my thing. Sanctum, peace, um, nobody's lucid, right? Let me drop a, let me drop a Vemos. Let me drop a Maruk. Let me do that. Um, now here's the thing. No, I'd rather oath it, right? Should I just oath it? Yeah. Just oath it. <laughs> it's scary because he's going to forge and he has shadows, so it's like... And logos. There's like a lot of things he can do to me. He can play logos. He's gonna effervescent me. The Lycobot. Adaptoid, which is what exactly? After you play a card with a bone cycle for the remainder of the turn, Adaptoid gains choose one. Plus two armor to, to assault or fight steel one. Interesting. He protects his preventer creatures from taking damage during your opponent's next turn. Thanks for the heads up. Okay. So his stuff can't be bothered. What do I want to do? 
Thank you, Zoo. Capture another one. Reap, reap, reap. Can reap, reap, reap. Boop, boop. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I might do that. It gets me up there really fast. Sanctum. Take hostages. Equalize. On the Vemos, and it's fine. Keep. 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 Oh, I won't go to check because my keys cost seven. Because of this stupid engineer. Oh man. Yeah, miscalculated. But it's okay. Man. This adaptoid's really cool. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Like about reaps. Throws away Commander Chan. Interesting choice. But, you know, cycling is always good. Um, plays Diametric Charge. One damage to Splash. Uh, uses Adaptoid. What did he choose on the adaptoid? Is he playing like multiple diametric charges? Yeah, he did two diametric charges, right? Yeah. And he uses it for this flight steel one. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh man, this guy is uh is Amber Mitigation Central. Again. He has two damage. I can MRZ Amber. Give him down to seven. That doesn't help. I can Whistling Darts Gamgee Hidden Stash. That nets me two. Um, that nets me two and four card draw. Nets me two, four card draw. That might be better. Man, this is not good. Do I want the Shockworm out now? Uh, this guy's 4 damage skirmish. That's a skirmish. Oof. Okay, let's do Shadows. I think we need to get cards. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play Whistling Darts. Uh, I'm gonna play Gamgee. We're gonna play Hidden Stash, and we're gonna archive that. Um, this guy has a Desani. I'm gonna be real mad. And again, just under check. This guy is just like I'm just like one amber behind. This is it. This is gonna be it. I think. What can I grab from my... <sighs> Archive something. I'm going to play in the Mars Needs Amber and probably Glixel Peripherator Mars First Dit Archive the uh, Mars Needs Amber again. Oh my god, Professor Toronto's out. got three mutants. Oh my gosh. Again, out raced and out and out cycled. He's got a lot of good amber mitigation for me and he's faster than me. That's a problem with this deck. 
I have to be the faster deck. Yeah, he bounced two of my creatures, clogged me up. Yep, these two. Clogged me up for sure. Well, he's, okay, at least he didn't do check there. It would have been over. Um, well, no, I mean, I have the Mars Eats Amber, but... Um, well, I gotta do Mars. It's like the only play I have. Um, there's no way I can do other damage right now, right? No, because I want to use the proliferator to get the Mars Eats Amber back. So, we're playing it. Mars Eats Amber. Uh, we're playing a Mother Gun. Uh, we're gonna play a Shock Worm. Uh, we're gonna play a Dominator and a Proliferator. We're gonna play this and this guy. He's going to reap. We're gonna archive Marzi's Amber. We're gonna say check and hopefully be able to do minus three on him as well next turn. Got Orbital Environment, Combat Flux. So we can do three damage with Mother Gun, four damage with Mother Gun. Um, four damage with Mother Gun itself, and then two, four, six damage um, with Orbital Bombardment. So I can take care of some things. So I can kill Quixo, Titan Engineer, and Torado. A Mother Gun Torado, boom. Then Quixo, Titan Engineer. And then do two more damage on the Lycobot or whatever comes out. Ooh, Quintrino Flux. Dang. Oh, Vision Bloom. Next time we play a card. Oh, wait, no. How's this other stuff getting warded? Red Alert. Okay. Okay. Sensor Chief gotta die. This guy die. These are only two mutants. Sensor Chief is now worse than Torado. Ooh, I can. I can bombard. Yeah, I'm gonna bombard my own. Or Mother Gun my own uh, Gamgee. So Carpet Flocks him. Uh, but I gotta do the Mars Needs Amber first. Okay. Mars Needs Amber first. Then Mother Gun, my own dude. Oh yeah, I can Mother Gun Sensor Chief for one. Orbital Bombard my Gamgee. Mother Gun, Capture 3 with Marzi's Amber, or Bombardment, Carpet Floxum, that. Okay, let me do that. Marzi's Amber. Okay. You're gonna Orbal Bombardment. We're going to carpet flock some. I'm going to bring out this guy. And now I get my double free markets after everything's cleared. So I can. I'm going to net two from our artifacts, even the Sky Booster Squad and dies from the free markets. So we can get one, two, three, four. Rad Penny, Vandalize, Boss Zeke, uh, Boss Zarek. Yeah, this Mars. I miss playing Mars. He says, uh, "GG, well played." 
Pew. So close. All right. 17. Um, six and one. and one. Uh, do we want to rematch this guy? Kind of. That was kind of cool. I don't know if it's a good idea to play them again, but um, we will. Strong Stars, Gamgee, and Stash, Free Markets, Marut, Mother Gun. I guess we can start with a Mother Gun. Um, do we want to keep this? Yeah, we'll keep it. Start with Mars. Let's just get a Mother Gun out there. Yeah, that was the Mars stuff at the end. I had no way. I really thought I was done. I thought that was going to be it. And that's why like, I'm scared to play him again, the rematch. Um, but it was such a fun game that it's like, why not? Because it was close. Francis. Okay. What happened? Vandalize. <laughs> nice. Um, we get two from free markets right now. I think we're going to play Shadows. Uh, I think we're going to play Throwing Stars. Just do that. We'll play Hidden Stash. Free markets. We'll play a Gamgee. And we'll play Miasma. His logos was was good, man. It, it was like oppressive. Diametric charge. Is it gonna double diametric charge me? No. All right. Um. I can Maruk. That guy's just gonna get archived, huh? Um. So I can Maruk into the Lyco bot. That's interesting. One, one two, three. It's, uh, I get three bucks from the free markets. Yeah. Let's get three bucks. Eric, what does he do? Friendly creatures with amber on it get into elusive. Okay. Um, we can mother gun the bows, I guess. Oops. Okay, and then we're gonna put this guy on the left, this guy on the left. Guy on the right, and I think we're just gonna play Carpet Fox in for the Amber. Get the check. We got the old Oath. Oh man, the Harvester with Mars first. I can get one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven amber with um, Mars next turn. Nero Siphon. Didn't see that last game, but okay. I love Nero Siphon. I think, I think Nero Siphon is one of the greatest cards too. Titan Engineer and Quick Sale. Okay, he's six. I don't have anything to prevent, right? So if I don't have anything to prevent. Ooh, I do. I can Gamgee. But it's too it's too good to go to go ham. I wish I could kill the quick sale. I can do two damage on the quick sale. Gamgee won't stop. If one has more than you, steal one. Oh, because I reap and I get it first, and then you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Good. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be Mars. So now we're just gonna forge ahead. Um Well, oh, we can kill the quick sale because we can do two damage and another two damage, so four damage. Um, so let's do this. Show both of these. Do two damage to you. Um, you're going to orbital bombardment first. We're going to show this. We're going to kill the quick so. We're going to reap with this. Mars first. We're going to reap with this. We're going to remove his stun. We're going to reap with him. He comes back to one hand. Oh, I could have done another damage with him too. With the mother gun, I mean. So he's going to forge, but I got 12. So he forges, and I got the too much to protect in my hand. Oh yeah, with the Mother Gun and the Orbital, jeez. Dano Alien. Army Officer Nell. Commander Chan. Okay, we're both forging. Why are my five? Oh, sensor chief. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um Some darts. Part of me just wants to kill Sensor Chief. Play Mars. But then I'm not cycling my hand at all. Doesn't matter. If I can get one, two, three. Kill Sensor Chief. Pull him back. Reap with him. Do a damage to somebody. <sighs> His interesting days. Interesting days. Um, I can whistling darts throw Gamgee into him. Play another Gamgee. One, two, three. It might be better. Shadows. Um, I'm gonna play Whistling Darts. Kill Sensor Chief. Play Furtive Investors. Play Gamgee. Just play too much to protect. I think it's very ghetto. Recycle the hand a little bit.
Okay, shadows. Yeah, Marzi's Amber is my Amber control. Um, but if I can be faster than him, then I don't need it. Um, and then I can just cycle back my free markets. Uh, what happened? Oh, it lights out. Oh, now Harvester's out of commish. I can always mother gun the Gamgee to get Harvester back online. Deal damage, steal one instead. Okay. Okay. I can mother gun this guy. Um, or I can mother gun my Gamgee, get two, and then play all three, including the one that can't make it so he can't. Um... That's interesting. I could also equalize does nothing. Mars play is actually better. Mother gun. Cam G. Do that. That. Uh, reap. Harvester, dude. Mother gun's gonna go bye bye next turn. And I'm gonna net one, two, three, four, five amber. I'm gonna go plus five with Sanctum. Capture three. Plus five, capture three. wrong house. Go into manual mode real quick. Standardized testing. Okay. That was a great standardized testing for him. Charge. Okay, he's not there yet. I think what we're gonna do is play all the good stuff. Maybe something. All right, let's play. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. If I play Aubade first and then Equalize, I can move things around a little bit. Um, yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. Let's play Marukt. Let's play Take Hostages. Play Equalize. Let's put. Um, what do we have? Four? I'm gonna put one, two, three, like that. I'm gonna put yours on Andrew Chan. And then we're gonna play Oath of Poverty.
this feels like a much different game. I feel a lot more control in this game. But he has answers, you know? Like, I feel like I'm moving fast, but I'm like, and then I look down, I'm like, I still only, it's still only one key to one key. Like, this is like anyone's game. Yeah, that is true, Bill. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with four, four uh, net four positive uh, free markets. Nobody's got loose it, right? Including my guys. Cannot reap on the sky booster. That's funny. Yeah, free markets reap, reap, like, oh, free markets then reap, I guess. Or it's five. We get five amber overall. Play funny, funny free uh, rig lottery plays. Transport on platform. Is Armory Officer Nell with the Transporter platform? I mean, it looks like it could be cool, but I haven't seen much upgrade action. Forging an Alliance. Play a Forge key at plus seven. Current cost reduced by one for each house represented among houses in play. Dang. Forging an Alliance, dude. He, he had he had it behind. Got it. Got it. Got it. Two keys to two keys. Uh, I think it's free markets time. One, two, three, four. We get four. We're gonna reap, discard one from here. We get five. Uh, playing out a Vemos. And I think that's gonna be best I can do. Here we go. Yeah, it is funny they put on Sky Booster, but I think like because I had such crazy Mars games this game and the last game, like the mother guns and the Oracle bombardments, <laughs> maybe he was kind of like, let me, let me neutralize the Sky Booster. But yeah, I would have put it on the Abbey too. Oh, he stole two. Oh, nothing? Still want to reach Forge Key. Oh my god. Oh no! Is this it? If he has more than you, I could draw into a miasma. I have to. I have to hope to dusk chronicles into something. No, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. It was all the way in the beginning. I thought it was still in there because I didn't use it. I don't remember using it, but it's because I just threw it away. Ah! Well, that's it. We're going to do it. We're going to rig that lottery. Boom!
All right, knocked me out. But I'm okay that this deck knocked me out. We had two really, really great games. And look, we're both just comment to each other in the, in the in-game chat how, how much fun. Um, that was awesome. That was really great. Really great, really great. Let's go, uh, let's see. I think this might be the last game of the day, so I wanna make sure that we still have that back in there. Um, I don't know if you got to read, but your use of double Mars uh, needs, um, uh, you, but your use of double Mars is amber. Last match was masterful. Master plan functions as a, as a special archive. <laughs> And I'm lucky this deck has a good number of cards that can be worth a lot to archive. people are friendly like this it like really like like it's one of those things where like if you could have a really terrible game but then you end up talking to like you know and it's just like you're just like talking about how you know how much fun the game is or whatever and everyone's just nice it just like turns turns you around dude all right so that's a loss so we have we should be at 17 and 9 overall for my entire win rate with this. We are 6 and 2 in this series. Um, did we... We have to put 6 and 2 up there. We're going to look at his deck really quick. The guy that we played. Um, wait, 17 and, what, 17 and 9? Yeah, 17 and 9. 6 and 2. All right, everybody, this deck is finally knocked out at six and two. So it went nine and two last time, six and two this time. My Coda deck went six and two last time, seven and two this time. So, I mean, pretty consistent numbers here. And in both cases, in the Coda deck and this deck, uh, one of the games that we lost was from a camper uh, and the other game we lost was from a rando. Um, and I gotta say, campers always bring their A game. And so whenever I play a camper, I usually lose. Um, but the games are always super fun. Um, so I got stomped by, I think it was Stormstrong last time, got stomped by Bill this time. And um, I am more than happy about that. I like I like playing the campers. Okay, so let's talk about uh, Genadash, the, uh, the Rank of Tour of Demons. Oh, what a great name. Can we deck a keyforge this? This is this is the opponent's deck that we played today, or just now. I want to see the uh, the deck's keyforge number, uh, the sass number on it, and the other stat numbers. It was a seventy sass. Okay. Uh, logo shadow star. He he master planned into a forging the alliance uh, on me, which is pretty great. Um, just like, ah, oh, just like me, he had zero artifact control. That makes sense. Um, but look at it, it's pretty fast. The efficiency number is pretty quick. Um, amber control, expected amber. Um, yeah, did they add new symbols to the Master Vault next to the card type? They did. Um, so I don't know what any of it means, and I, I, I saw it only today. So I don't know what this means. Oh, ax, oh, tooltips. This is an action. This is a creature. This is an artifact. Upgrade. Okay, makes sense. 
Oh, action. That's what the, that arrow is. So, yep. And then the sword is artifact. And the, and the arrow up is the upgrade. But, yeah. So that's kind of cool that they did that. Not bad. Um, let's go back to this, uh, our opponent's deck for the last. This is one that knocked me out. Um, a lot of stuff. So let's go through Star Alliance, Forging Alliance, Quintrino Flux, Double Red Alert. So there's a lot of uh, board control there. So if we're looking for upgrades in this deck with the uh, Transporter Flapper and Ar um, Armory Officer now, I guess the Double Explorer Rovers, the Axis Denied, that's three. Um, that might be it, huh? Three, but the fact that like the explorer rovers are are considered two upgrades, that's kind of cool. Um, do they tell you where the enhancements are left? I don't know, actually. Um, let's go to my decks really quick. Let's go to a mass mutation deck. Uh, they are blued, but they won't tell you what the enhancements are, unfortunately. Um, lights out, double mog, vandalize, lucky dice, master plan. Lucky dice and master plan, the bone thing were really good. Um, Mad Penny, double shoulder, and eh. The neuro siphon, serodice testing. You know, on the surface, on the surface, I wouldn't have imagined that this was as good as it was. But again, I'm really bad at reading just card lists. Um, but, oh, but, but yeah, I would have looked at my own list and been like, nah, that's not that great. <laughs> like this, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. It just works a lot better than, than, uh, than it seems. But, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's talk about what's, what's next on my, uh, when I return to Key Forge, which may be tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, we are looking at the devil who lawlessly upsets mischief is the next one so let's let's prep the spreadsheet with that so we're looking for devil uh -huh. okay who's what's a 68 sass so let's change the current deck uh, when we come back, we'll have this overlay ready. It is the devil who lawlessly sets Miss Chief. 68. Cool. All right, and it's a disc logo shadows, uh, 68 SAS. It has some artifact control. It's been, oh, not really, it's customs office, uh, which is your opponent must pay you to play an artifact. Um, speed looks good um, because, well, it's because it's logos. So what's the thing about this deck? We're not gonna play it today, but let's just look at it really quick. Three life for life with a bad penny, okay. <laughs> Um, so Dust Chronicles, three for life for life, two Miasma, an Oubliette, Custom Office, Subtle Mall, which is discards, okay. Bad Penny Umbra. All right. Oh, Finite Rupture, Intermental Graft. So, um, I feel, I don't know why I, I think of you, Bill, when I think about this combo. Um, so, uh, I think, I think the next time I, I, uh, I play this deck. You gotta be, you gotta be in chat, because you always, you always got the good uh, Minate Rupture International Graph plays. Um, and we got a poke, Library Babel, Igor, Helperbot. Ooh, I love me Helperbot. Ooh, Sutterkin, dude. With a, uh, what else we got? Two ZYX researchers. Okay, yeah, the speed is pretty good. Uh, I think here. Dis, couple of banishes, unlocked gateway. Uh, Lash of Broken Dreams for stall, double library. So, double library of the dam, double researcher, 
you know, an Igor, um, a Hexpian. I feel like there's a lot of that going on. That's cool. Oh, gosh. Look at this. A Lash of Broken Dreams, Double Charette. Um, Restringus. Schuler. It's calling in a streak. Okay. So this is a little dirty. Um, so it's like being annoying and then getting a binate rupture in a match will graft off or something. Uh, each player gains equal to their pool and then graft it. Yeah. So, yeah, could be cool. I think uh, excited to play this one. It'll play completely different than the one I just played right now. And I think that's it. All right. I think we're going to go over here to this title screen. I think we're going to um, fade out this tabletop audio music here. Um, really good day today, everybody. So we are, uh, you know, it, it, in true form for my all-star decks here, um, it's, it's taking me an entire stream to knock a deck out basically, or one to two streams. So, cause I'm, I am playing at least, it seems like I'm playing eight, nine games, uh, with each deck, which is great, which means to me that the decks that um, I previously played on my, my ladder climbs that got good win rates were legitimate, right? Like it wasn't fluke of, of maybe the times. Um, so I'm feeling really good about that. Um, I just showed you what deck number three is. Um, hopefully we can get some more of these games in before um, before Dark Tidings drops because once we play Dark, uh, once Dark Tidings drops, that's, you know, we're going to be playing. We want to discover all the new hotness, right? So um I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing Keyforce tomorrow. It is the easiest thing for me to stream. Um, so there is a good chance of that, depending on how busy I am um, uh, between uh, today and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a good chance I might play Phoenix Wright as well because I've just been having fun with that. So that all depends on how my voice, uh, my, my throat feels because um, I end up doing a lot of talking and a lot of voices for that. So I um, want to thank you for everybody um, hanging out today, particularly Bill um who was giving me a lot of good tips and also played uh played uh, a good game with me so um stay tuned to the socials to see what i'm gonna play tomorrow and uh peace good evening everybody and uh i'll see you tomorrow bye